That new drip, shoot a pop out with the pool stick. F and then Draco extended 30 and it's sent on my hip. 35,000 for the brand new Rolly Rich. Alright, I found this video it says just Dan getting Ron put in the in a nutshell. Because I read the comments, but it's still kind of confusing as to what is going on. So yeah, I'm about to just try and watch this and see. <laughs> Why is he speaking in Chinese? First, let's discuss about the victim. Jason, the ultimate high school animator. According to the Monokuma file, he was murdered in the second floor male public bathroom. The cause of death was blunt force trauma to the head. Uh, sorry for interrupting, but what's that pink stuff on his head? That's blood. It's recolored to preserve the rating of the game. Oh. Anyway, the time of death was around 10 p.m. yesterday. We found the body at 7 a.m. this morning. A blood spattered hammer was found near the crime scene. Oh, Yes! The murder weapon is missing! Really, guys? I thought it was pretty obvious. Nope! Seriously? Why is he speaking in Korean? Why are the words flying all over the screen? Anyway, what kind of blunt instrument could it have been? It's a mystery! The murder weapon is missing! Damn. What are you guys, fucking idiots? Did you just shoot me?! Were you listening? We found a bloody hammer near the crime scene. Did he actually shot I her? I know it's part of the trial procedure, but really? What the hell is wrong with you people? Why does the first debate of every trial have to be something so painfully obvious? Suzuki? Now, let's discuss about how the murder occurred. One thing for sure, the murder took place in the male public bathroom. So, we can safely assume that the culprit is a male. So, are you implying that it's impossible for the culprit to be a female? Damn. Let me remind you, the murder took place in a public bathroom. Even if it's a male bathroom, a female could still enter it with ease to commit a crime. So they're just debating. On the murder. Hey, at least let me finish my sentence. So Remember what Monokuma said? In order to access the bathroom, we need to scan our ID card. What is your point? To get into the male bathroom, you need an ID card belonging to a male student. Likewise, it's the same for females. In conclusion, it's not possible for any of the female students to enter that bathroom and commit a murder. Uh, okay. Anyway, about the hammer. A toolkit was given to everyone by Monokuma during our first day at school. I think the hammer is part of our toolkit. Yes, that toolkit is our crucial evidence in this case. In fact, I'd like everyone to check their toolkits right now. Exactly. So, ramen jacketori. Suzuki? I uh lost my toolkit. Nigga, that's sus. That's actually sus. I lost my toolkit. That's not a good excuse. 
I, I am being serious here, guys. Why am I speaking in English? How did you lose your toolkit? Did you lose the toolkit after using it? You used the hammer in your toolkit to murder Jason, didn't you? No, I... my toolkit. Yeah, that's us. Unless, unless somebody stole his toolkit and used his hammer or some shit, I don't know. No, I'm not the killer! If you think I'm the killer, then show me some proof that I was at the scene of the crime. Joey, you are the killer, right? Like I said, I'm not the killer! You can't prove anything without evidence! Bro, that flash is bright as While investigating, I found this mask near the crime scene. Try to remember, there's a huge air vent in the bathroom. Joey, this mask belongs to you, right? It's kind of weird. You were wearing the mask all this time before the murder occurred. Damn. After the body discovery announcement was made, you were no longer wearing it. Damn. So, why was your mask inside that particular air vent? Care to explain? There's only one logical explanation. Joey was present when the murder took place. He's the murderer. Nah, Joey, they packing your ass out of there, bro. <laughs> Don't worry, this is just part of the trial procedures. Suzuki? Well, it looks like there's no use in hiding it any longer. Yes, I was in the bathroom. However, I'm not the killer. If you're not the murderer, then what were you doing there? I have my reasons. Okay, guys, he's in the clear. He's not the killer. Huh? OBJECTION! What the hell? We were ganging up on him a while ago and suddenly he's innocent? We shouldn't let him off the hook. Joey is the first suspect of this trial and a seemingly obvious culprit. So going by that logic, he's not the culprit. Confused? Let's take a look at the initial suspects of the class trials from both games. At first, they were chosen as the first suspects with ample evidence pointing back at them. But in the end, it was just a ruse made by the true culprit to frame them, or just to fuck around. Thus, Joey is obviously not the culprit, it's just part of the trial procedures. And what is this trial procedure that you keep talking about? Okay, okay, calm down, everyone. I'm sure Joey had a valid reason for being there. What? Thank you, Nike. I shall explain myself. Like everyone else, I was trying to find a way out of the school, and I stumbled upon this large air vent at the hallway near the trash room. I managed to pry it open with the screwdriver from the toolkit. It took me some time before I got to the end of the air duct and ended up in that bathroom. Then... He was in the girl's bathroom? 
I didn't want to get myself into any trouble or break the school rules, so I turned around and rushed back. It was probably during that time when I dropped my mask while hurrying away. When I got back, my toolkit was nowhere to be found. So, as previously stated, I was concealing this because I'm afraid of the punishment awaiting me for breaking the school rules. Damn. Joey, are you certain that you saw a girl back there? Do you remember who she was? 100% positive, though it was just too foggy to make out who it was. She was in the midst of drying her hair with a towel and it covered her face, so I didn't get a clear look at her face. Holy shit. Wow. So you're Maxwell. Did... You're the killer. Hold on. Did they do what I think they did? Holy shit. So you're in Maxwell. You're the killer. Watch the Oscars live on ABC and YouTube TV. Try it free. According to the trial procedures, you fit the description, and you haven't spoken a word since the beginning of the trial. So clearly, you are the culprit. What bullshit is that? And what is this trial procedures you keep talking about? You skipped the Monokuma Theater segment, didn't you? you cut the crap about the trial procedures and focus on the class trial. Have you forgotten what you've said earlier? Only male students can enter that bathroom, exactly. so I'm Joey's testimony is bogus. How can you just believe him without a second thought? No, his testimony is legit. You could be in that bathroom too. There's one more thing from the trial procedures. Fuck your trial procedures! Damn. You have an identity crisis, right? Huh? In fact, everyone in this room has some sort of an identity crisis. And if I'm not mistaken, you're biologically male, aren't you? That's how you got into the guy's bathroom. あ、ほら、ほら、ほら、ほら、ほら、ほら。そんなもん認めねえぞ。でも君が犯人だっていう証拠は他にもあるんだ。適当なこと言ってんじゃねえや。触れるのとあの具は Let's get this over with, starting from the beginning. At approximately 9 p.m., Jason went into the male bathroom. Meanwhile, Joey found the air vent the same time Jason was in the bathroom.
After Joey went in, the culprit, who happened to pass by, found Joey's abandoned toolkit. They took the toolkit with good intentions, with the possibility of wanting to return it. Before they did that, however, they decided to go to the bathroom. Little did they know, Jason was in the bathroom. At this point, it's unclear as to what happened. But one thing's for sure, it didn't go well. The killer thought of a perfect plan and grabbed the hammer from Joey's toolkit. Fortunately for the killer, the bathroom is the easiest place to get rid of any blood evidence and traces of murder. So they showered? At this very moment, Joey navigated his way to the bathroom through the air ducts. Due to the position of the air vent, Joey couldn't see Jason's body, but instead he witnessed an important clue about the culprit, their gender. That's why they get killed, because they get found guilty. Wait, wait. So if she didn't get found, everyone else would have died? Damn, and all the students watch? That's fucked. That is so fucked. Wait, I gotta see what he said in the beginning. Damn, that's fucked. That's fucked. That's fucked. Damn. Uh, well, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe. Um, if there's another video explaining it better than this, then leave it in the comments. But I think this one did pretty good. That's fucked. <laughs>